The second title update is coming really soon and it seems like Flaming Espinas will be the new monster to watch out for in this update. And I have a couple of tips I wanted to share to get you ready for your first hunt against this new Espinas subspecies and with the ongoing trend of fire and poison, it may even apply to the other new monsters coming with this release. Also later in the video, I have a couple of builds I would like to share that you could use against Flaming Espinas. But before we start, just a quick reminder to leave a like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and want more builds and tips in the future. Flaming Espinas inflicts Fire Blight and Poison same as the regular one. This time though, instead of Paralysis, we'll be dealing with Defense Down, which simply lowers your defense, but it's worse than Mail of Hellfire. It's like fighting a master rank monster with high rank armor. To get rid of it, you can consume an Adamant Seed or Armor Skin, or use the Hunting Horn's Defense Up song. Another way will be to use the Armor Skill Quick Breath. This cures all blights and status ailments that doesn't prevent you from moving after you do a skill swap. Also, it recovers health depending on how many statuses were cured, with 3 or more giving you the maximum it can heal. Pair that with Dango Shifter and you'll never use a potion in that fight ever. This skill is basically made for Espinas. The only way to get it though is from a decoration and the only thing you need to make it is an Espinas mantle. That means it's finally time to use those anomaly research points that everyone has been saving up since the first title update. Although, farming Espinas won't be too bad either so you could warm yourself up for the real fight. Next, if it's not yet obvious, Flaming Espinas is weak to water and if you're planning on using water weapons, I suggest not to go all out on elemental damage, at least not on the first hunt until we see how weak it is to water. Because there's a good chance that Flaming Espinas might have really bad head zones, especially for elements, similar to regular Espinas. So make sure to hold off on using Elemental Exploit and Elem Bane for now. Weakness Exploit might not be great either because raw head zones might not reach 45 or more, so just keep all of this in mind. Here's an example of a set if you're a Charged Blade user. This is just a basic set for SAED spamming. Having Elemental Resist at 20 prevents Elemental Blights, but this set doesn't reach Fire Resistance 20 because of Mail of Hellfire. We can still take advantage of that by using Quick Breath to cure Fire Blight and heal some health in the process. If you really don't want to run Mail of Hellfire or if you don't have access to it, replace the Sinister Grudge Waste with the regular Basil Geese Waste. You'll end up with the same skills except for Mail of Hellfire and you get Razor Sharp as a bonus. This set has an extra level 1 slot that you can use for anything, like flinch free if you play multiplayer. And if you don't like Rapid Morph on either of these sets, replace it with Wirebug Whisperer. If you want to play online support so you can help your team survive against Flaming Espinas, then I recommend using a Hunting Horn. The Teostra Hunting Horn has the best melodies for the job. It can cure both poison and defense down. It doesn't prevent fire blight but the health regeneration song can help slow it down. We're running an immortal set with this because you need to stay alive to keep your team alive. We're not using wide range because I don't think it's worth it on a hunting horn. But if you really want it, just replace all defense boost jewels with wide range jewels. Unfortunately, I can't make a build for each and every weapon but I still hope some of these tips can help you get an idea on how to approach flaming espinas once it comes. I'm really excited about all the new monsters we'll be getting and possibly new skills that we'll soon be playing with. So watch out for new and exciting builds by hitting that subscribe button and leave a like if this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one. Take care.